explaining simple domains in Jujutsu Kaisen, and thank you so much for the comment. Now, simple domains are just barrier techniques. Now, I've gone over that in some previous videos. I'm not going to get into the weeds on barrier techniques here, but it's something that's prevalent throughout JJK. Domain expansions are barrier techniques, and simple domains were originated as a defense against domain expansions, but they can be utilized in a number of ways, actually. And how they function are, again, a simple barrier technique that's typically been imbued with some sort of binding vow, and that can either make it an offensive ability or a defensive ability. First, let's talk about offensive really quick. So in Miwa's case, she creates this very small barrier and the binding vow she has imposed on herself is that she cannot move in this position, but because of that, anyone that enters that radius, she can slice them with her sword way faster than she would normally be able to. So like I mentioned, simple domains originated as a defense against domain expansions. And again, really quick, a domain expansion is a barrier technique that has been imbued with a user's curse technique. And typically, people within a domain expansion are automatically hit by that curse technique. So what the simple domain tries to do is nullify that guaranteed hit effect. And it does that by kind of interfering with the barrier of the domain expansion itself. However, this isn't just a surefire way to defend against domains because in the best case scenario, you're really just buying yourself time because soon that domain expansion is probably going to overpower the simple domain. An analogy that I thought of that might help illustrate it is think of a simple domain as an astronaut suit and a domain expansion as space. Like you can't go into space just as a normal human because you're gonna die. But if you're wearing an astronaut suit, then you can actually survive in space, at least for a while. So simple domain is kind of like that. 